Hey, it's Mel. So uh, in this screencast, what I want to do is just real quickly show you um, what I do to clean up my desktop. If you look at my desktop right now, it's a mess, right? There's all kinds of icons, there's folders and, and all that stuff that's in there. Um, and this is important in screencasting because whenever you're showing something on your desktop, when people see things in a folder that has an interesting name or they see the trash bin or something like that, they want to know what's in there and it takes away from the attention of what you're, it is you're trying to communicate otherwise in your screen video. There's different ways, there's some utilities actually that you can use to make this very easy. In Windows, you can see I'm using a Macintosh here, but if we were to look at Windows for just a second, so in the Windows environment, uh, this is my nifty little desktop on the Windows side of my Macintosh, right? Again, it's also very busy with all kinds of icons. Uh, in Windows 7, you actually have the ability to right-click anywhere in your desktop. You look at the View menu, and then you can you know, quickly uh, see where it says Show Desktop Icons. And then if you just deselect that, it then hides all of your desktop icons. Okay, so that's a real quick tip, real nifty in Windows 7. Uh, and then, of course, to re-show it again, you just re-enable that checkbox after you're done with your screencast. So that's a real quick tip. That, that's for Windows 7. If you want to see some of the other uh, tips and so on, there's actually Windows has a website and it'll show you how to do that for Vista and some of the other platforms. So Windows has a solution. The thing is, no can solution when you get to a, a Mac environment. What's up with that? So there's nothing really uh, built in inherently for Macintosh. However, there are a couple of utilities and a couple of resources that I would like to point out. Uh, if you go to uh, Brooks Andrus has actually created a nice little, I found a nice little uh, uh, automator that you know a little script that you can just copy and basically glue into an automator program or automator script inside uh, Macintosh that allows you to be able to do this so that's one way to do it uh, so I'd encourage you to take a look at that here's the URL for his uh, website you can take a look at that nice little uh, tutorial he's also got a screencast that goes along with it that shows you step by step how to do that so take a look at what Brooks has done the other thing that you can do is um, one utility I like is uh, that I use quite a bit is something called Backdrop, and uh, you can go to uh, John Haney's site, and uh, basically this is the URL that you would use to get there. And when you go there and you click Download, it actually takes you to the Apple Store. Let me go ahead and minimize that. It takes you to the Apple Store where you can download the application and notice the price here. The price is free, so that's always a good price, right? Uh, and what, what this allows you to be able to do is once you download it and you install it, I can have it in my docking station someplace and like where I have here. Anytime I'm ready to shoot a screencast, I just click that puppy and then notice what happens in my desktop. Everything just kind of goes away. But here's what that's actually doing. What it's doing is actually putting an image file as a wide window. So what that's actually doing is it's putting a layer, a, 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 an image layer on top of anything else that you might have going on in the same manner that perhaps you might have something like this, right? This window and then let's bring up another window, let's say. Okay, so you have this window and then you have another window. So if I click these guys, one goes on in front of the other. You can kind of get lost a little bit, but it's important to note that in the same way that you would have a window that's totally maximized, like this is, all right, you can easily get lost to know that, um, well, if I click off of this for some reason and accidentally click on another window, that other one comes to the foreground. Much like if you notice when I click the blue area here for backdrop, I'm doing the same thing there. So just be aware of that. It can be a little bit disconcerting whenever you're doing a screencast. But the other thing with backdrop is you can also click and in the preferences menu, you actually do have the ability to change whatever image it is that you're using as well. Okay, so I just want to put that little quick tip to you um, and put that in your hot little hands. And again, the application is called Backdrop. You can get it from the, uh, I'll put the URL in this screencast and at the bottom of this video as well in the post. Uh, you can take a look at that. All right, this is Mel. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.